Have you ever wondered where to buy smartphones from? Chicka chicka ching 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 China! That is the Gearbest.com and Banggood.com, the most reliable two sites for online buying. Use my promo links below in the description to purchase anything ninjas. That's the best way to support me. Let's go! Yes, yes, yo, PS2 emulator on the Huawei Honor Play Kirin 970. So this is Damon PS2 Pro emulator. Uh, also small rant, uh, almost uh, t more than two months passed since they didn't release any uh, new build. So I hope they're going to do that. Please make sure to bombard their uh, Google, Play, Google Play Store uh, inbox or their Gmail account or something, anything. Just bombard them and ask for the new build. We are asking for the new build. We are uh, requiring a new build. Bro, 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 bro. Come on, they said they're gonna release uh, in August, but August already passed, bro. It's almost middle of the 10th month, bro. Yep, yep, yeah, it is, bro. Anyway, uh, let's begin here. Okay, we are in the game. Let's see, it's running 60 FPS, obviously. This is a very powerful GPU for the PS2 games, uh, but uh, still, the Snapdragon 845 will be the best buy for the Daemon PS2 emulator. Just have that in mind. Uh, you should go better with the Pocophone F1 if you care for the emulators. Uh, if not, then obviously, like, I don't know, 5% of the whole planet of users that are testing emulators. I, th I think less than 5% or so. I don't know, we don't have statistics, but it's not like majority of people will uh, use buy the smartphones because specifically because of the emulators most of them will probably just buy a console or something like that but it's obviously it's really cool to play console games on android devices always always bro it can be opposite it is cool nevertheless uh, the emulators why emulators because they are the best apps to test the real raw power of the gpu of the processor itself Oh, oh, nice. Nice, nice, nice. That was nice. It is Contra Shatter Soldier Time. Yes, uh, also this is uh, one of the most playable PS2 games on mid-range SOCs and flagship SOCs. Okay, we are in, we are in. Let's see here. Interesting, very interesting. I don't know what, but this game specifically... Uh, Huawei smartphone, something is pulling down the Huawei smartphones regarding this uh, game itself, at least the Kirin SOCs. I don't know what, but specifically this game. Very odd, isn't it, bro? These GPU drivers, these codes, bruh, what, what, a, what a mad world, man. It is a crazy world indeed. I have a huge respect for the coders, developers, etc, etc. You have to have really amazing nerves to work on something like this, bro. Anyway, let's go next. This is unplayable, this game. I had the same bug uh, even with the Huawei Honor 10, which was $500 worth, bro. Okay, now it's okay. No, still, still these stutterings. Yeah, still, still. Okay, Dragon Ball Z Sagas. Okay, ninjas, we are in running 29, 30 FPS. 37, 36, and I honestly don't believe fully to this FPS counter at all. It is there to, I don't know, calculate 23 FPS, now I believe it, 19 FPS, 22 now I believe it, 26, 21. So, like I said, and like I knew it, because I will be, I've been already been testing, this is not my first uh, Kirin 970 smartphone, bro, I already know what I'm saying, so uh, I don't like when, uh, like, Thousands of users are asking me the same questions uh, uh, regarding, example, if there is like five, uh, I don't know, Snapdragon 710 smartphones, usually on most of them, you're going to have the same performance, man. Only if there is some huge problem, if the smartphone has overheating issues, it throttles a lot, etc., etc., then you won't have the same or similar performance. But if the smartphone is normal, uh, then you're going to get the same performance, man. There's no need to test all the smartphones uh, with the Dolphin emulator, bro, to exactly know what you get, where you add, bro, where you add. Like I said, if the conditions are normal, because uh, sometimes we do get some problems with some smartphones, uh, also regarding the software itself. Software is also very important. That's why the OnePlus 6, uh, OnePlus 5T are the best gaming devices in the last two years that I tested or in the last year and a half. 
two reasons the soc always the flagship and the second one the fastest operative system in the world in android world at least so it's so smooth and fast you probably know it if you've been following my speed test videos let's go next marvelous versus capcom 2 okay let's see what's happening with this game um Capcom F, uh, fighting Fusion runs better. This one is running 37.42. So I think this should be the last game. They know, there's no point for me to test anymore. If these 2D games don't run perfectly, then how in the heck you expect uh, 3D games to run amazingly? 2D versus 3D. Huge lag there. 25 FPS drop, unfortunately. Something is pulling down, and I already uh, basically made a video regarding that with my previous Kirin 970 smartphone. Something is just pulling there. Some some GPU drivers are probably missing for the uh, Daemon emulator, or maybe just the Daemon, Daemon itself. It doesn't have the proper codes. It's not optimized for the Kirin SOCs. That's the two only reasons that I can get, can I, I don't know, give you from top of my head, bro. Top of my head. Da -da 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 -da. Anyway, wish you all the best. Subscribe, share, and like my YouTube channel if you want. Remember that uh, these emulators are specific for some tiny group of the people in the global global market or global user uh, community. I would call it like that. Most of you will probably just play Android games, and Android games on Huawei run run really good, bro. Because you're gonna have also a special gaming review, special just Android games uh, on my YouTube channel on Huawei Honor Play. So check it out. Check it out. Ding ding ding.